this fella burning the last of the tree limbs and the tree stumps and the pieces from the hurricane May the 1st. He lives in this house right here. Of course, the tornado came right across there and over into them trees and just had a heyday tearing up them trees. So he lost two big trees. Both of them was in his backyard. And he has spent a lot of time hauling these things over here. Now I'm gonna show you this round piece right here. I'm pointing at, it has two stumps. One's right there and one's right there. That is one of them tornado type shelters that I've been seeing. We got other words they're calling and talking about them being a cellar. But, uh, He's too far out there for me to talk to right now, but later on I'll have a conversation with him about it to see who he knows, who, if he knows who built them and what year. But there's one right down the road, and uh, I may stop and show you some other ones that are around here. Anybody knows what they are, leave a message in the comment so we, we all can get up on the same page of what it is. Now here's the other one that I want to show you that's just right down the road from that first one. And you can see that uh, the trees are all growed up around it. But if I can zoom in up on, up on that corner, yeah, you can see that's what it is. The owner said it was a cellar, so, but used for storms like tornadoes. But it's old, it's real old. All right, I gotta get on down the road. Oh, there's another one of them tornado shelters. This one's in really good shape. It does have a tree growing by it, but it's in good shape. It's beautiful, but it's got that same round top. And this one is associated with this house that is a rock house there ain't many of them left but that's a good one right there it's real pretty here's at it looking at it from the front ain't that pretty house look at there i see a cat kitty 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 he's just looking See now it shows a picture of me. Uh -huh. and now it shows a picture of you. Yeah. Now you're on you're on today's video. Oh, wow. <laughs> this is the fella that told me that no, they don't cut hay on the on the new moon. They cut it when it's dry. Right. Yeah. Take care of me. That makes all the sense in the world. So that is a correction for what I said the other day. All right. I gotta see how many I can do today. I don't know. But, well, I got this thing flipped around here. Let me do this real quick. Um, this lady's been asking me a question about Israel and uh, building the temple. And that's prophecy that in the end times that uh, Israel would rebuild the temple. And I guess that's the temple that was tore down. That's the temple that Jesus went in and kicked over the tables and uh, caught them all snakes and vipers and ran them, you know, pretty much throw the fit because they was making money and doing things that, uh, that he knew wasn't right. So, I don't know, 70 years after that, that's when uh, Rome tore the temple down. Well. In my knowing, and in what I understand, and some of the people that I associate uh, associated with, and associating with, believe that the temple that that is all speaking of is a metaphor for the temple that's built with no hands, and that's within our being. Our physical form is made out of atoms, 
and those atoms are same atoms as in the stars, the sun, the moon, it's in everything and everyone. Now that's not a temple until it becomes a temple. You don't know until you know that you are the temple of God. And it, that's just where God dwells. He dwells within. So the kingdom of God is, is within. It ain't a place. It ain't, a, it ain't where you go to heaven and take your body and your fishing pole with you and think you're going to fish. That ain't, that ain't going to be... You're going to be sadly disappointed. But anybody that's believing and following the prophecy of a temple being built at the Temple Mount is being misled. The same deception's been undergoing for thousands of years. It's all to do with religion, man-made religion. All of those scriptures that talk in terms of that is talking about our physical body, about the, uh, the seven chakras. There's more than seven, but uh, we'll just stick to the seven. So the candlesticks and all of that, it, it just goes on and on with metaphors and talk and terminologies that have to do with uh, the zodiac, astro zodiac, and how all that lines up with the heavens. And so, no, I don't believe that building the temple is going to do anything but cause trouble. And uh, that's okay too. Let them do whatever they want to do. But you, you are the temple of God. You are the, the one that is the most high. You're walking on holy ground with the I Am consciousness. Once you become self-aware and you see the matrix for the, the game that it is, it's Maya. It's an it's a, a cause and effect and most of it in mind control and most of the people seem to be real but they're not they're just background people and they just going through the motions and so I'm looking for the real thing I need a core group of people that like my videos and um, ask me good questions <laughs> I'll tell you no lies cuz I don't even believe anything I just said. If you think uh, I'm telling you something that is the gospel, it, it, you got to look it up for yourself. You got to do your own research. Your own knowing has to develop with inside of you. And then uh, we might see eye to eye on a lot. <laughs> but, all right, I got to go. Well, the cows are headed to the pond. Yeah, about this time of day, they like going into the water. Look at that. Belly deep. <laughs> they enjoy getting cooled off. They'll come in this direction and then walk off and go over there to them shade trees right over there and have fun. Give traffic because I got people coming. All right, too damn much traffic now, so I gotta go. Well, that's called a gu guru, <laughs> that's one fast damn bike. I was flying and he passed me. I'm telling everybody, that's one fast damn bike. <laughs> I was flying and you passed me like I was standing still. Well, I came up behind you when you turned the corner though. Yeah, it slowed me down a little bit, 90 degree, 90 degree corner. But you was flying. So, how many miles you got now? 23 this morning. Okay. That's a fast little bike. It is when my legs cooperate. That has to be that way too, don't it? <laughs> we all need a little cooperation.
Well, I wanted to show you another little pond that has cows in it. Look at them. They just chilling out. Now they're looking at me. Look at the little ones. Little bitty babies. <laughs> Normally I don't spook them. But they're going to get spooked and we're going to have a what you, stampede. Oh, I got them all moving now. One move, now they got to all move. What's that remind you of, people? Oh, you can feel the ground rumbling. Damn, y'all camera shy or something? The little babies up there started it. There's a mama cow right there. Look at that. They're all leaving. Nobody said you had to get out of the damn water. Don't be cry babies. Stay in the water. Hell. <laughs> damn. Beautiful. I did that. <laughs> Shoot, that thing's gorgeous. That's an old one, let me tell you. Is it, is it an older model? 30 years old. You're kidding. They built this sucker right back then. Look at that. These are made in America. These, this 30. So what year would that be? 89. 89. People, look at this. Good view. <laughs> that was a the 15th year anniversary special edition there. 15. It, it was all done by Honda. All the okay. Huge radiator. Pardon? Huge radiator. Big wind yeah, intake. There's two two radiators. One on each side on it. Got a radiator coming off each side. It's actually got heaters on it. Huh? It'll keep you warm. <laughs> well, it sure is gorgeous. You're doing a walk around, ain't you? Yeah, I, I'm actually doing a video. Oh, okay. Yeah. Alright. Yeah, hell. Let's put this here. My people like looking at stuff, you know, my YouTube people. Yeah. They they encourage me to you know, unique things to videotape it while I'm on my bike ride. One thing bad about that motor, 88 and 89 is when they started the 1500s, and it's the last of the carburetor. It's got two carburetors on it. Two carburetors, and after that, there were fuel injected. To fuel injection, but they changed the engine to different starters, alternators, and everything. So I'm kind of limited to parts as far as. Over the next day of availability, and you got to get them on eBay or something like that. Yeah. Well, no, I love the bike. I just came back to Colorado. Seventy-eight. Nineteen. No, 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 no. Eighty-nine. Eighty-nine. Nineteen eighty-nine. Fifteen hundred gold. Fifteen hundred gold wing, and it was a twelfth year anniversary. Or so. That wasn't a trike when it came out. It's got the Lehman kit on it. Ah. With the forward rear end on it. Okay. So people would know what you, when you say Leland, how'd you say kit? Lee, Le, Lehman kit. Lehman, Lehman kit. kit. Yeah, that's what's on the pad right now, Okay, there. that's road across the pad. Yeah. And it's Canada. Lehman truck, yeah. yeah. I seen somebody else had, had something like that that was yeah, made. The kit comes from Mm-hmm. Well, I sure appreciate you letting me see it. Yeah. Videotape it. I love it. I'm retired now. I that. That's a good way to be, ain't it? Yeah. All right, that says 100 miles. That lines up really good with this. 100 miles and 6 hours, 24 minutes to get to this point right here. And I want you to look at where I'm at. I was at 
between those two mailboxes right there so I'm a football field and a half difference that's that's how close I am today I said I was gonna videotape this but um, I'm gonna cut it off here just a second cause I got some gray looking black clouds moving in and I don't feel like getting wet so from this point here I got seven miles and a piece to get there so boy I am wore out waving at people they see me talking on something they don't know what I'm doing I'm making a transmission <laughs> I'm calling my future self buddy <laughs> damn hundreds is kicking your ass nah if I time it right and do it right it is but I don't know it's I'm gonna make a video one day about Huggins meets Doggins. Doggins is a is an animal. He's a beast. He's a ex Navy SEAL, and he's gone around on the podcast. He talked to Joe Rogan about his book, "You Can't Break Me." He talks about 40 percent. He said most people all they do is 40 percent, and so. I, I had to, honestly, I had to bite down on my mouthpiece today. Yeah! And uh, try to crank this last, uh, from Hardy's, you know, to my house, 15 miles. And I'm just halfway there. <laughs> and it feels like it's taking a lot of energy to do it. But uh, it's all about right here now. Is about mind over matter and our minds are way that's what Do Doggins talks about Goggins uh, I'll, I'll put a link in the description box to uh, who he is so this ain't the official video about him yet I'm gonna, I'm gonna make a cool video about him and how he motivates me in London real Brian that guy from London real man he really motivates me sometimes you you think you can't do it and you just you you, you got it in you you just got to you just got to get there to that pain part that hurting part and uh that's where most people quit 40 percent and there's so much more that we could do that we have the potential and our recovery is is what it is so matter of fact I'm gonna make a video when I get home of what I'm using to recover my muscles and my ligaments and my tenants so y'all can see what that is. Okay, hang on for that. Well, I wish you'd look at here. They're doing it by the big bells. And we got wind coming in and it looks like rain. And I got five more miles. Am I gonna make it? Are they gonna get wet? Tune in and see how this goes down. Who knows?